In this worksheet called Splitting Data, we've got our customer database shown here, but we want to organize it a little bit differently. And right away, we're struck by two problems. We can't sort this list by state. The information for city, state, and zip code is all within the same column. So there's no way to sort this information so that we get our list sorted by state. If we do sort by column D, it's going to alphabetize this by city. And also, look in column A. The names are in first name, last name order. If we sort this list, I'll just click over in column A and quickly from the data tab, click the AZ button. We can sort this list, but it's alphabetical by first name. And invariably, we would want to sort this by last name. Now, there are two ways to work with these issues. One is brand new in Excel 2013. We'll get to that in a minute. It's called Flash Fill. We want to talk about first the feature called text to columns. In column D, we'd like to split this data into three separate columns. If you have worked with database software, you're familiar with the concept that each column or each field should contain a minimal amount of information. Keep information in separate columns. It's easier to pull that information together than it is to split it apart. But we've got this situation here where we do want to split the data. Let's select column D. There's nothing else in this column. And then on the data tab in the ribbon, point to the feature text to columns. You see the description of it. And they refer to the idea that you might want to split names into separate columns. In this case, city, state, zip. The convert text to columns wizard appears. Step one of three. First step is simply to indicate that we've got a delimiter. In other words, as we look at this data, we recognize a state code because we see a comma. In other words, the cities are delimited by a comma. And some cities have two names, San Antonio, Klamath Falls, etc. Our splits are not at a fixed number of characters. So choose delimited, next. On to step two of the wizard. What is that delimiting character? Now, this comma box might or might not be checked. We want it checked. And in the preview down below, and you might have to do some scrolling at least at first to see what's happening, here's what we're about to see. It's going to split the city names into a separate column from the state and zip code. We'll click Finish. And now we've got our cities in column D and our state and zip in column E. Looks like there might be a leading space there, but that shouldn't pose a problem. Let's do the same kind of thing in column E now. Text to columns, delimited, next. And this time what separates the data is not a comma, but a space. Now it's gonna split this into three columns. We'll have an empty column, but that certainly won't hurt. And we'll just get rid of column E. Right click, delete and make the zip code column narrower if necessary. And we see what's happening. We've got our data into separate columns. And now we will be able to sort this data by state or by zip code if necessary, and within state by city, of course. We need to do the same kind of thing in column A. As we did in the previous example, we need to have empty columns to the right of this. Let's drag across columns B and C, right click and insert to provide some entry points. Now we can use text to columns here like we did before, but the new flash fill feature gets the job done pretty quickly. I'm going to type the word Aaron. Now I'm going to type the first name of the next person. As I start to type this, as soon as I put in the L, look what happens. It's proposing that the names below it are also going to be the first name. So I'll press enter. And so what have we done here? We've isolated the first names into a separate column all the way down the list. And now here, what are we going to do? Let's type the last name. The first person is Garner, enter. Second person, the name is Bell. As soon as I type the B, Excel picks up or senses what I need, I'll press enter. Next thing to do, Relabel this, call it first name, and over here, last name. And we don't need column A anymore. Right click and delete column A. Readjust the column widths, perhaps. 
Now, in some cases, you'll see last name, comma, first name in the same column. That's just fine. You can sort. And if we want to sort this list coherently, we can do it relatively quickly by clicking in column A first to do an AZ sort, then click in column B and do an AZ sort, clicking the AZ button. And now we've got our list alphabetized by last name. And we can do the same kind of thing if we want to organize the list by state. We can sort on those columns. Splitting data into different columns seems to be something that a lot of people need at different times. And these two features, the text to column feature and the new flash fill feature, get the job done very efficiently.